Alright, hello everyone. Welcome to the first tutorial in this video. Oh, I am scared. <laughs> I was so excited about this palette. The colors just look right up my alley if I thought it was gonna be good. And then I did my swatches yesterday and um... Not the greatest. But that's okay. So long as they work well on my lids, that is what matters. Swatches, I don't do swatches. You know, like that's not how I wear my eyeshadow. So that's not what matters. The proof will be in the application pudding. So I'm gonna zoom you in and I'm also gonna apologize right away. The sun has been going in and out with the clouds here. So the colors may not be 100% all the time, but I'm gonna go in with prayer on a fluffy blending brush. I have primed my eyelids, but I'm just gonna take this and put this in my crease. It looks, it looks okay. It looks all right. Definitely, I could tell with the swatches. I had a feeling anyways. These were gonna be very uh, light, I guess. Or muted compared to some very pigmented shadows that I feel like we've all gotten used to here in the beauty community. But that's okay. I am down with subtle shadows. Like I said, I'm just, I think I'm just not used to it. But that looks like that blended really nicely. I wasn't expecting it to look so red. <laughs> looks more mauve in the pan, but oh well, we will make this work somehow. Then I'm gonna take a dense crease brush into Dew's Paid. And I'm going to put this on the very outer portion of my lid. Crease a little bit. Don't worry, we will go back and clean that up. Then I'm just gonna take Midwest on that same fluffy brush from earlier and use this to kind of blend a bit upwards and also to blend those last two colors together. flat liner brush into this nice plummy shade on the end. And this I'm going to use not only on my lower lash line, but then I'm also going to use same fluffy brush, same color, and very, very lightly just blend that bottom lash line color into this outer portion of the crease. See, just, just so, just very light. See the difference from there to there, yeah? Then, note to self, wash your freaking brushes. This one's stained, don't worry, I color switched it. It is clean. And I'm going to go into Love Tons, just very lightly, and tap that off, and then smudge out the lower lash line. Now for the lid colors, I am I'm curious to see how these apply with a brush because in the swatches, ugh, not good. But I'm going to try out pizzazz just on a flat shader and I want to put this on the outer half of my lid. Okay, I mean it's applying but it's just not, it's not the pigment that I want and that I know I can get. So gonna, or that I guess I assume or think I remember getting <laughs> with a finger swatch, so I'm just gonna go ahead, yep, there it is, dab this on. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with Eve Rose on the inner half of my lids and just blend that into the last shade to make a nice little gradient. Ooh, I think it looks pretty. So to finish it off, I'm going to go into the cream, and I'm sure you guessed it. I'm just gonna put this right underneath the brow, and lightly blend that downwards. And then I am 
I'm going to do my inner corner highlight with a mix. I'm gonna do the cream really lightly. Just dab that on. And then go into Oh Heavens and dab that on lightly on top. All right, and there we have it. I just put some, I don't know, it's like a burgundy Merlot kind of a color in it to my waterline and then put on mascara and that's it. I think it looks really pretty. It is nice and warm and kind of smoky, but definitely not too smoky where you'd feel weird wearing this during the day or anything. I just really like the blend of colors and overall I think everything worked really, really well together, blended really great together, and I am very happy with my eye looks. So, yay for proving me wrong, Emily, and Makeup Revolution. Whoop whoop, or at least yay for proving my swatches, slash that the, that isn't always the best way to gauge whether or not an eyeshadow is going to be good or not. It's eye application, that's the biggest thing. Alright, hello, hello everyone. Time to do my second little tutorial here with this palette. I have no idea what I'm gonna do yet. <laughs> I think I have like a slight inkling, but I really, I just don't know. So to start off, my eyes have been primed. I guess I will zoom you in a bit too much. There you go. I'm gonna start off with a pencil brush and dip this into apartment. Yeah, yeah. Trust your gut, Cask. Trust your gut. And this I am going to put in my crease. I know, I know, I'm sure you guessed it, but I'm doing it a little different in that I am putting it, or I'm concentrating it on the outside portion. And then whatever excess I have, I'm dragging in towards the middle. And then I am just repeating that same kind of pattern here inside portion of my lids. Why is it looking honey? Okay, well. Don't worry about it being too neat. We will do our darndest anyways to clean this up. Then, next up, god, this is looking real cute. I am using a brush, don't worry, I've color switched it. It is clean, as you can see. And I'm going to do a combination of Pifi, Pif, Pifa, I don't, I honestly don't know. And then also family here. And I'm going to use this, I'm sure you guessed it, to blend out the brown from the floor. Then, using the same brush, we're gonna go in with Dark and Early, just very lightly. And this, we are gonna put on just the outer corners. Blend that in and deepen it up just on the outside, like I said. I'm just gonna go in with a paint pot and a shadow, a cream shadow brush, excuse me. And we're just gonna clean up the lid with this, make a nice crisp crease. Capricorn here. We're gonna try this one on a brush. See if we can get it to work. And this I am going to blend from the outside just a bit inside to where we put that cream shadow. Hmm. Yep, apparently it's, it's gotta be finger. What a shame. I just hate having to get my fingers dirty like this. 
I mean, it's really not that big of a deal, but as you can see, it's just less precise and it can make a mess where you don't want one. Sun, come back! Okay, well, this is apparently what we're working with right now. Then I'm gonna take my finger, which I have wiped off, and go into Bell Violet here. This one was really sheer when I was swatching, so trying to heavily coat your finger in this. And then we're just gonna put this on the rest of the lid. Blend it into that Capricorn shade. Yay, sun's out, so there you go. That is what the color looks like. And don't be afraid to double, don't be afraid, don't be afraid to double, triple, quadruple dip into that last shade, because uh, it really takes some building up if you want it to be full purple like that. But now to finish things off, to mimic the dark and early, we're gonna go in with corduroy here on a flat liner brush. And I'm sure you guessed it, I am going to be smudging this on my lower lash line. a fluffy brush and very lightly go into side hustle this one was so chunky so just making sure to tap off my brush really well and then very lightly gingerly buff out that teal color we put along our lash line Okay, then to finish it off, we are going to go into the cream, and I'm just going to put this very lightly underneath the brow, and also my inner corners. And there you have it, friends! Here is the final look. As you can see, I just went ahead and put on some teal green liner in my waterline to mimic what we did on the lower lash line. Did some winged liner with some black liquid liner and put on a ton of mascara. I probably would have worn falsies with this look normally, but I'm filming my best and worst of beauty today and I needed to show off this mascara, so yeah, here we go. I didn't honestly think or know that I could go quite this smoky with this palette or this cool tone but holla at me I think I did it <laughs> unlike my lingo I did not I did not nail that but I think it's really pretty it is smoky but still wearable and goodness I like it anyways I hope you do too <laughs> all right hello hello a third tutorial here you have made it let's do this a little bit more zoomed in and I've got a I've got a general idea of how I want this to go here so I'm gonna start off with a pencil brush I know I keep having or I keep saying it's clean just please trust me <laughs> but I'm gonna go in with family and with this pencil brush I'm sure you guessed it but I am putting this in the crease here like usual keeping most of the pigment concentrated on the outside and then dragging whatever excess I have it towards the center. It's just what I find to be the most flattering way of adding depth on my eye shape. You can obviously adjust this however you see fit for your eyes. I want this in the crease and then just peeking out just a little bit when my eyes are open. Just the littlest bit. Then with a fluffy brush, we are going to go into a mixture of prayer and hobby. I really hope that hobby will take down the redness of prayer. Like I said, it looks like such a pretty nice brown with a tint of red to it in the pan, but then when I put it on my lids last time, it was like really red and I had to take my look in a different direction. Okay, good, good. That seems 
to have done the trick. But I think, as you could have guessed, and as you can see, I am just using this to blend out the upper portion of that past or that last color that we put in the crease. And I just want to kind of go up with it a little bit, bring it up towards the brow. Make sure we're getting rid of any harsh edges or messy, patchy smudginess that that last shade had. And I just want to marry the two, sorry the sun is going to be going in and out again here, but I want to kind of marry the two with the same brush and the shade Cheer, just oh so lightly, oh so lightly. Right where those two other shadow, or I suppose it's three, but where the purple and the brown meet, I'm gonna put this kind of a, it's like a red shade. Like I said, it should just, yeah, just kind of marries those together and pulls in a little bit of warmth. So really with this, I'm concentrating most of it on the outside again, like I did with the purple in the first step, and then I'm just dragging excess towards the center. Do you see how much more married and happy those all look compared to that? I would like to think there's a huge difference, <laughs> or at least a noticeable difference. Then I'm just going to use a finger and go into Heartbeat, and this I'm going to put on the outer portion of my Oh, that is not showing up at all, is it? Who knows, maybe this will be a shade where I actually need to use a brush. Or a shimmer shade, I should say. Metallic. Whatever. Whatever. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna say this one actually does seem to get more pigment when applied with a brush. I am actually a bit surprised based on my arm swatches, but whoop whoop! So, as I think you can see, I am putting this on the outer half of my lid. And then, the part that I am most excited about, this color, Top Story, was the one, I mean, so, like, a lot of these colors really do speak to me, but the one that when I was swatching, it just made me go, ugh, it was Top Story. <laughs> I'm gonna take my finger with this one and put this on the inner half of my lid. Just blend that into the last color. It should make, yes, just a beautiful, no, it reminds me of a fruity, like, tropical, alcoholic beverage. Why? I have no idea. I don't think I've ever had any kind of a beverage that looks like that. Maybe it kind of reminds me of, like, lemonade, and then when you, like, would put grenadine into it or something. I think that's kind of what it, what it reminds me of. Ugh! Ugh! All the feels. finish things up, I'm going to go into Love Tons. I'm gonna lower, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower my lash line. I'm gonna line my lower lash line. Then to finish things off, I'm gonna go into Laugh Cry. Just a little bit. Fluff out that black color. It's kind of like before up top. It's a very subtle difference, but a difference nonetheless. Then y'all know me. I'm gonna go into the cream with a flat shader brush, just really lightly. And I'm gonna put this underneath the brow, blending it downwards towards the other colors on the lids. And then for a little twinkle, we are gonna go in with Oh Heavens and highlight my inner corners with this. All right. 
it and there we go my friends final look all put together i personally think it looks like it turned out good or <laughs> i personally like it i just went ahead and smudged some matte brown liner along my upper lash line and then i put kind of a metallic-y warm brown into my waterline put on mascara and that did it like i said for whatever god-given reason this look just reminds me of a fruity tropical drink of some sort it's based on nothing but that's just how it makes me feel i think it is nice and warm and sunny and semi sultry and it just if you have green or blue eyes this will really really make your eyes pop this kind of a color combo with the gold and the pinky reds and plums so yeah you guys i think that is it i mean it is that is it three tutorials three mini tutorials for you on this revolution makeup revolution the emily edit the wants palette i hope you enjoyed it if you want to see my full review and opinions on this palette you know lasting power all that good stuff definitely go ahead and check out the main video of this video if that makes the counterpart the the uh, the, the other video that I upload with these tutorials. You can see swatches and hear all of my opinions there. I will have it not only linked in a card, but also down in the description below. Let me know down in the comments if you liked these looks. Hopefully you like them as much as I do. I had fun putting them together for you guys. Let me know if you had any favorite look out of the three, and also let me know how you've been wearing this palette, you know? What kind of color combos have you been putting together? Which shades are your favorite? I love hearing from you guys, and as always, I hope this review slash it wasn't really a review but I hope these tutorials were helpful for you if they were please do go ahead give me a thumbs up down below I would really appreciate it and if you're new here hey hi hello how are you you can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future you can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel I'd love to have you here and as always I just hope you guys are all doing well and until next time just stay well until then bye